We have this wild card. Oh, by the way, a massive investigation mm -hmm. into the administration and the presidency of the man who's now going to put up his second name for the court. It's going to be uh, an incredible calendar to watch. Uh, it really is. I mean, this, and, and our summer just got a whole lot crazier. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. <laughs> crazy enough. No vacation time for you, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this, the reason why I think this is going to be such a seminal moment in his presidency is Supreme Court fights for Republicans are such a part of their political culture. It is ingrained in the right in a way that it is not in the left. It's a part of their DNA. They understand the importance of a court seat much more than liberals do. Liberals have a much less cohesive ideology. The right, on the other hand, they still feel the sting of Bork, of Breyer. I'm sorry, of suitor, mm -hmm. uh, of, 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 of... They use suitor as a verb. They yeah. do, yes, exactly, to get suitored. So, they, they and, and Clarence Thomas, by the way, too. Yeah. These, these Supreme Court fights were such climactic moments in their political identity. And, of course, it all stops at abortion, the culture wars. They have been losing in the Supreme Court, in the culture wars for a generation. This is now a time where they hope they can reverse that. And I really do think that this could be a galvanizing moment for them going into the midterm elections when they've just come off a victory with nominating, confirming a Supreme Court justice that they're very happy with. And that could give them some momentum going into November. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.